the... I'm amazed I remember all of this. This is, <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of interesting that this is all coming back. My name is Kit Harrington and I play Jon Snow. Jon, at the very start of the story of the start of Game of Thrones, is um, a bastard child. He's the bastard son of Eddard Stark. He is the literal black sheep of the family. He's the illegitimate child who doesn't know what his parentage is. And yet he is a man right from the start with a great sense of what he believes in. And that leads him to go and take the black. And he goes off to the Night's Watch to pursue his destiny then. Welcome. When John arrives, he's not a popular person. He's very skilled with his sword. He's highborn. He's been trained by the best. And it's through him defending Samuel Tarly and standing up for himself that people start seeing him as someone that they might be able to follow and able to trust in and be friends with. For us as viewers, we've seen the very opening scene. We know there's something very evil and mystical out there. When he sees his first white, he realizes there's things greater out there than his personal ambition. It really sets out who he is for the rest of our story and what his main aim is, which is to warn the rest of the kingdoms to be ready for this threat. Mance was one of us once. Now he's one of them. Can't just march into their midst. Sneak in, kill Mance, and scatter them to the winds before they can march on the wall. In this first ranging mission with Corrin Halfhand, they come across a group of wildlings who they ambush. <laughs> Corrin tasks John with killing the one survivor, which is a woman called Egret. John prepares to do it, and he can't. So he tries to take her captive, and that leads him into great peril. Corrin Harfan and John both are captured. Corrin Harfan then sacrifices himself for John to go undercover in the Wildlings and to gather as much information as he can to take back to the wall. We are the watches on the wall. If man's really likes you, you'll live another day. And if you don't... He's going to meet the leader of the Wildlings. He doesn't know how long he can fake this story. He's completely out of his depth. Why do you want to join us, Jon Snow? I want to fight for the side that fights for the living. Mance Raider decides that he will utilize John in joining a vanguard and attacks the wall from the south side to open the gate. Take my hand! John and Egret fall in love. It makes John's decision to go back and betray her incredibly difficult because he's stuck between a betrayal of his fellow men at the wall and a betrayal of a woman that he loves. And that's an incredibly difficult position. Egret not happy about that. She hunts him down, and they have a very quick, concise conversation. This is Westerosi breaking up, but it's at its very essence. I know I love you. I know you love me. I have to go home now. And she's pinpoint with a bow and arrow. She chooses not to kill him in that moment, just to hurt him. It makes him love her even more, really. <laughs> John gets back to Castle Black, and he is now ready to warn them of the impending attack. When the battle for Castle Black kicks off, a lot of that story is about Egret and about John. And is she going to kill him? And is he going to kill her? Her heart is punctured by an arrow. And thus ends John's first love, and what a brutal way to go. You know nothing, John Snow. After Egret dies, he knows he has to do one thing, it's kill Mance Raider, and he can, he can save the situation. So he heads off, and it's a walk to his death. He's gonna have a conversation with a man where he says, yes, I betrayed you, and he's gonna lie to this man in order to kill him. We don't know what John's gonna do before Stannis cuts right through everyone, and a whole new story crashes in. Does anyone wish to speak before we cast our tokens for the 998th Lord Commander of the Night's Watch? Sam persuades John to go and try and become Lord Commander. John, it's not naturally something John would decide to try and do. Mormont himself chose John to be his steward. 
He saw something in John, and now we've all seen it too. He may be young, but he's the commander we turned to when the night was darkest. Yeah! Sam convinces the Night's Watch that John's the right person, and John wins by a very narrow margin. In realising that the wildlings aren't the great threat, that in fact by leaving them beyond the wall, they're a great threat because they could well become part of the army of the undead. He needs to get them south, and he needs Tormund to do this. I believe this mission to be reckless, foolhardy, and an insult to all the brothers who have died fighting the wildlings. As always, thank you for your honesty. And they go to hard home. That's the first time we really see the army of the dead. Not the king! We learn so much in that story about how difficult they are to destroy, about John's sword being the only thing that can shatter their weapons. And through this, we meet the Night King. It ends with them saving some people on a boat, but losing the vast majority. <laughs>